The phrase, too much is given, much is expected, it resonates with me. I think it has sufficient meaning. I'm Raymond Naughty. I'm president of Environment Masters here in Jackson, Mississippi, and uh, this is our mascot, Annie. Jackson is my home. It's not had the best of times the last 20 years or so. We are a local company, somebody that's been here since 1957 and, and is part of the community and wants to keep on giving to their community. I'm Ben Naughty. I'm the service manager at Environment Masters. What my grandfather and my dad were able to build here is extremely special, and we have an awesome opportunity to help people. We do a lot of different stuff. We work with a lot of different ministries, nonprofit organizations, churches. Really get in where you fit in. We really just want to help where we can. We will go as a ministry in downtown Jackson. I think one of the things that really struck me with them is how they're trying to support people in Jackson, get on their feet, teach people how to do woodworking and so forth, be able to make a living. I'm Amy Lancaster, and my husband David and I are the founders of We Will Go. The people that we serve here are all our neighbors, people that are really in a lot of need. So we feed a lot of people. We give people jobs and jobs training. And then the other one is through education. So we do a lot with kids and camp and tutoring. And this building is very old. The big property, this whole corner, used to be a YMCA, so we restored that. And then we have this property, which as you see is a coffee shop. And then across um, from us, we bought a whole nother corner. Environment Masters, uh, we've used them as a company for a long time. One of the part of their heart is how can they partner with? How can they give back? How can they actually make a difference? When they donate time, they donate a piece of equipment, they donate air filter. It's extremely helpful. Huge blessing for us to be able to function, especially, you know, when there's an emergency or there's a real, real need like maintenance. It's big. It really brings real hope into a real hopeless neighborhood. Take the time, uh, do it, afford to do it, budget for it, plan on doing it. Your community needs you and you have a responsibility to fill. If you're a mechanical shop, you can help your community and you should do so. There's probably a lot of people in your community that need help. You don't have to look that far. Don't wait to figure it out. Just see the opportunity and do it.